All right, hey guys, we're gonna work on Dominic's hair. I wanted to show you guys, hopefully you can see his little brows. My camera will focus, but they turned out pretty good. Hopefully you can see his little veins and all the details on him. So if you've been following along and have been using the same colors and the same techniques, you should have a really nice baby without a whole bunch of effort. Okay. I had to touch up his uh, nails again today. I'd already varnished and everything, but then I realized some of the nails were needing to be touched up yet again. So, I don't know if you can see. It's hard to get this stupid camera to focus. But yeah, I've got to, I, I touched them up and I need to um, bake them on again and then I'll have to re-varnish the nails, which won't take long. I'm not worried about that. It's just irritating that I wasn't paying attention after I told you guys, pay attention. And then I didn't pay attention. It was kind of weird. So, uh, here we go. We're going to mix up some dirty blonde hair. This is the uh, brush from yesterday. But I don't really like that it's that dirty. I'm going to get some, some new going here. Okay. So what we're going to do is put some, what is this, yellow ochre, this here, and you noticed I used quite a bit of thinner because I need to make a bunch of hair color, hair color, because it's a pretty good size head. So we're going to do that, and then we need some raw sienna, I think that's what it's called, yeah, raw sienna. And uh, it's just really nice to have all these colors. Makes it a little bit easier when you go to mix your own. And you don't necessarily have to have them. But uh, they're nice. Now, if you want it to be a darker blonde, you would use more raw sienna. And if you want it to be like a brighter, lighter blonde, man, these bristles, then you would do more of the ochre and... Um, I want the bottom layers to be a little bit darker than um, the top layers. So I've left this because I want to use that for baby hair. Um, it's the same color as his little eyebrows. Okay, so this is Flesh 08, and what this is going to do is neutralize it just a little bit. Whoopsie. So it's not bright or dull, it's just kind of there. Okay. And now we're going to add some burnt umber, and it's going to brown it up, but it's going to have like a little bit of, I don't know why that thing keeps coming off, but it's going to have a little bit of a brown tone to it. Brown tone, um, it'll have a little bit of reddish tone to it, I guess, too. And... Let's see how that goes. I don't want to add any more. I want to put some thinning medium in there. Thinning. Thinning, thinning, thinning. Okay. I want a pretty fair amount. So I would say maybe a pea size. Maybe a little more than a pea. A big pea. Big pea size. I'm going to start with that, and I may add more, but I need the smoothness of this thin, thinning medium. And it also allows some of the concentration, so it's not so transparent. You definitely need that when you're doing hair. This brush has seen its better days. Go for another pea-sized blob. We need several, several blobs in there. It's 
looking better, but we definitely need to get it a little more concentrated. So that would be the third pea glob, pea size glob. Now there's going to be air bubbles in there just because you're stirring it around. Like when you do a cake mix, the air just gets in there. Okay, I think that's plenty. If I need to add a little more, I will. It's always best to start out conservative. You definitely don't want it too thick or it won't spread and you don't want it too thin. It's see-through. <coughs> my throat feels all... Oh, my throat feels all cramped up for some reason. It's... Get rid of some of this. Sorry about that. And I want my Christine Woolly brushes. I'll probably leave these out. Now, I like I said, I have one that is... One that I actually plucked out. I think you can see it. It's one that I actually plucked out and made smaller. I don't know if you can tell. I don't have anything. Oh, actually, I do. Here, there's a charger. Can you see that? It's awful small. And then this is how they come. Which they're small anyway. But then I went through and I plucked. Just took a pair of scissors and trimmed it down. I think there's like maybe six <laughs> six bristles on that thing. So if you do that, be really careful. Otherwise you're going to end up chopping it all off and then you don't have any you don't have a brush anymore. So be wary. So I'm going to use, I'm going to try to yeah, it's about the same thickness as, well maybe a little bit thinner than the nail art brush. So it's pretty small, and then I have this one that's pretty short too, but it's still thicker than the Christine brush. So I'm going to kind of play around and see which brush I like. Okay, so I've got the color mixed up, and it's time to go. We're going to do a style I've never done before. Uh, I had a customer, the customer requested it. <clears throat> a very thin style, so this is going to be fun. I'm going to start out with the uh, regular Christine Woolly brush, and when it looks like this. And I got it from Irresistibles, I think. And it says Christine Woolly on there. Silver, silver, silver lining art dolls, my bad. Okay, so I'm going to start with. Yeah, I may need a bigger brush. Well, maybe not. Uh, I'm going to start towards the back where the swirl would be. And then I'm going to This is interesting. I have never done a doll <laughs> with hair this this tiny all over, so we'll see here. I mean, it can't be that hard, right? It's just tedious. Oh, yeah. I don't make really pretty tiny strokes like that. So. Like I told the, the client, this should be interesting. I can see it. I don't know if you guys can. and It's kind of looking rough on me. To me right now. So. Oh, 
Well, if I don't like it, I can always take it off. It's the beauty with heat set. You don't have to worry about messing up with the paint so much. My glasses keep bumping the camera. I'm trying to get it to where you guys can see what I'm doing. I have a reference in my head of what I want. I don't know. I have spatial problems, so just because it's in my head doesn't mean that's the way it's going to look. I can't copy exactly. Oh my goodness. Makes me wonder if this is even going to show up. Because it's going to dry. It dries lighter. I like the color so far, so that's good. It's got a nice, easy blonde. It doesn't look overpoweringly overpower red or brown. Really good. It does remind me of the um, premix. I got this. The premix brow blonde, but it's got a little bit more yellow to it. Oh, I don't like that. All right, we're gonna go the other direction now. Trying to leave a little spot for the, my curves are not very pretty. Trying to leave a little spot for the um, swirl. Yeah, my curves aren't very pretty. I think that's where I'm getting frustrated. And you're supposed to do it like one complete instead of just little choppy bits because I'm having trouble with the curves. That's probably, that's probably why they're not looking so great. Come on now, be nice to me. I don't know if you guys talk to your brushes, but I do sometimes when I'm frustrated. I don't think I'm doing this quite right. Um. My head feels swimmy right now. Maybe it's just because uh, <laughs> I'm having trouble focusing. I don't know. Looking that super great. When I paint hair, it always starts out rough looking anyway, so maybe it'll change the more hair I put on. I don't know, guys. Can you see what I'm doing? It's starting to fade because it's drying on me. There's some 
areas that aren't so thin. Right there, it's very thin. Wow. <sighs> Interesting. Let's do the little side pieces. It's not. Oh, please forgive me. I hope this turns out nice. Should be interesting. It's definitely going to take longer because the hair is so much tinier. Yeah, because it's kind of drying like a blob in the back. Oh, my stomach. I'm sorry. I'm getting hungry. It's not as thin I was, as I was hoping, but like I said, I've never done this style. It's so tiny. I can't even tell you if I like it or not. I hope the client does. I'm going to have to darken it a lot more than it is just to be able to see the first layers. I'm going to have to finish up what I've got and then bake it and then darken that up and hopefully I'll be able to see it next time. But I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm looking in the camera and I can't tell. Oh. I'm going to go ahead and finish all the way around. And you would do the same thing. I've got other hair tutorials as well. But I really don't want this going over. You know, it's been 18 minutes already. I don't really want it going more than that. So... That's the end of this video. Like I said, come on back. We'll do another layer.